Hey guys, today is not a truck episode. We're actually working on the 2017 Sonic. I'm adding a temperature sensor. For some reason, GM did not put a temperature sensor in it. So that's the little gauge. Gauge goes in here. This one goes in the dash. And this one goes in line with the top radiator, radiator hose. Um, sensor goes in here and it send, sends a signal to this one. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. It's that one. So it seems like it's cool already. There's no pressure. Cool. And some of it's gonna leak out, but whatever. Let's take this off. <clears throat> right so we cut the top hose now we can stick this one in there and um, let's give it a shot and I use I use this and some scissors but yeah Cool, so I ran the signal wire through the firewall. Actually on the side of the firewall. Uh, I can't see. Just because I couldn't stab it through, it was too thick. It's one of the things on this car that didn't suck. And this one, I just posted it here because it's a good angle I feel. Look, so you can see it right there. It doesn't block, obstruct the view or anything. Now I just need to get, um, need to tape this on here some way, somehow and then get the ignition switch and then the ground, so ground's easy. So let's let's try it out. All right, so I was actually able to take the this thing off with the this plastic, this whatever tool. So I can go in there and actually make it look clean. I was worried about just having it on the side. But let's find the ignition switch cable. All right, so this one's working with the key now. Pretty much, I got the ground from that thing. And I just got the power from the cigarette lighter. Alright, so it's a better shot. As you can see, the warning light's gonna stay on just because most cars are... I mean, the temperature range is like normal, like 210. These engines at 1.4, they go anywhere from 210 to 225, according to the internet. I was driving it for like five, like, no, like 10 miles and it's staying around here, so that's good. What I was messing up on was you need to ground the little sensor. So that thing was a ground, so I put it to the battery and the signal wire straight to the gauge. Also, don't mess up like me. So it was leaking from the hose earlier today. Pretty much cut it straight, so measure twice, cut once, not do it like me. And I got the thicker um, hose clamps from Harbor Freight. Because the ones it came with were just crappy, honestly. But yeah, much happier. Finally, we can we can uh, keep track of the temperature. If I didn't make sense in the first part of the video, excuse me, I was kind of tired and dehydrated. Because I can't really hear from my left ear, but that's a whole different story. Any questions, let me know. And next episode will be a truck episode. Thank you.